The financial lingo rarely lets the outsiders understand plainly how markets function. Most of the terms used are abstract, complex ones, and sound unreal to most people. It is hard today to explain why it is so important to own physical gold in the actual context and why the spot price doesn't matter that much in determining the real value of gold without being aware of certain key elements moving the gold market. And it is of the utmost importance to understand some of those elements if one is to be able to support a seemingly discouraging volatility. Thus, we will try to explain the situation by making a historical parallel with the Titanic shipwreck. You're on board the Titanic. It just hit the iceberg and it's going to sink. Not all passengers are aware of it, except you and a few others who have the technical know-how to know that the ship cannot be repaired and that it will sink. The situation being so compelling, you belong to those who fully understand the importance of owning a lifeboat. But for the moment, the value of your lifeboat isn't perceived as being extremely high by the other passengers because most of them are convinced that a ship like the Titanic cannot be shipwrecked. The spot price of your lifeboat on the bridge of the Titanic has gone up since hitting the iceberg, but it has not reached its maximum value because most passengers cannot believe the ship is sinking. But since you know what is going to happen, you're not really worried with the spot price of your lifeboat, especially because you know that the staff members are lying when they're telling the passengers that there are lifeboats for everyone and not to worry. By telling passengers there are enough lifeboats for everyone, the staff members contribute to keeping the price of your own physical lifeboat low. But you know that those lifeboats do not exist and that the value of your actual physical lifeboat is much greater than its spot price on the bridge of the Titanic or than the value of certificates given by staff members to passengers and claiming lifeboat delivery promise. The spot price of your lifeboat on the bridge of the Titanic does not reflect its real value, but you know that. In time, its value will explode to the upside. The staff members are manipulating the price of the lifeboats by creating an offer of virtual lifeboats that do not exist. As the owner of a real lifeboat, you aren't that much worried about the manipulation because you know it will cease when all the passengers try to get their hands on a real lifeboat. On the other hand, knowing the reality of the lies of the staff members and not trusting them since the crash, you're not going to let them keep an eye on your lifeboat for you because they just might have promised it to many other passengers. And thus, they might not be able to deliver it to you when you need it. The staff members are trying desperately to avoid a movement of panic, and they're trying to control the situation by influencing the price of the only asset that has real value on the bridge of the Titanic, the one that will make you survive the shipwreck. Of course, this parallel is simple. It was meant so, but it gives a clear explanation of the situation. Note that all the staff members own lifeboats since the crash. 